How's it going guys? It's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center, reaching out to you guys today to talk about medications. So I get a lot of questions. Should I take a pill, a powder, or an injection? What's better? Well, that's a great question and there's a lot of information. So I wanna break it down for you and talk about how good a medication is in its form. So the first thing we talk about is the actual medication. It could be a pill form, it can be a powder, a syrup, it can be an injection, intermuscular, intravenous. So when you're thinking about what's the best way to get it, when you take a medication by mouth, it enters the stomach. There's a lot of competition in the gut. There's stomach acid, there's food, there's liquid. There's many things in the stomach that can alter the medication you're taking in. So you may not get that full amount of the actual advertised milligrams. So when you're thinking about how much are you actually gonna get, what's it gonna transform into in the body, that's called bioavailability. So bioavailability is important because that's the bread and butter of your medication. So when a medication is injected into the body, which many of the therapies offered here at Titan Medical Center are, intermuscular injections are a great way for the medication to enter the body. So when entering into the muscle via an intermuscular injection, there are many blood vessels in the muscles that are able to uptake this medication and transport it to the sites for absorption. So we call that bioavailability, distribution, to the area the body needs to convert this medication to a usable form. So there you have it folks. The science behind injections versus pill or powder form medications by mouth, injection wins almost all the time. So to get the most benefit, injectable medications is the way to go, in my opinion. So if you're interested in learning more about some of our Titan therapies, give me a call. We'd love to help you out, 727-389-3220. Once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. Hey guys, John from Titan here, and I'm back with our health tips to help you guys succeed at reaching your goals, whether it be weight loss, uh, putting on lean mass, or just overall feeling better. So two big questions I get all the time. One is, how often should I work out, John? All right, so the American Academy of College of Sports Medicine says that you should be working out at least 150 minutes per week, right? And this is to A, get all the health benefits, stay your same weight and make sure you're staying on a healthy track to be inactive. If you're overweight or obese, they say 250 minutes and this will help you rapidly decrease your weight to make sure that you're losing the weight to be healthier because being overweight and being obese is not healthy, okay? So don't let anybody sugarcoat that for you. Now with this, you can break down, let's say it's 150 minutes. You can break down through five days a week, seven days a week, just making sure that you know, don't do it all in one day. Don't say, I'm just gonna go to the gym for all day and I hit 150 minutes of exercise. That's not gonna work. You wanna spread this out over time and be consistent. Now with this, you know, when working out, how often should you work out? Now for me, I would say at least, at least three to four days a week. Now doing 30 minutes to an hour, right? And that's kind of what I do right now. Now you can literally go five to six days a week. Now you should always give your body at least a day of rest. And I usually do that on Sundays, right? Or weekends, maybe Saturday and Sunday, and I work out all week. So I might work out five days a week at 30 minutes a pop. And at that point I've covered that time period and what I really need to do. Now this is at moderate intensity. So this is not just you just walking or like, you just go, um, I did my, I did my 30 minutes, John. I, I should be good, right? No, that's not right. So moderate intensity, how do you know you're at moderate intensity? The way that you know you're at moderate intensity is if you're working out and you can literally say something to somebody so you can get on a phone call and you can kind of talk to them and you're not, ah, 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 you shouldn't be like that. Then you might be overexerting yourself at your level because there's different levels of fitness. People are different. You know, there, there's gonna be people that are more seasoned that can work out more strenuous, harder than you can for a longer period of time and not get out of breath 
right? And there's some people that, that you know they start and they're at moderate intensity, and they they could be at that level too because they haven't worked out for 10 or 15 or 20 years. You can't expect yourself to get right in the gym and be able to go 110 miles an hour like somebody that's been in the gym for 20 years doing this at least five days a week. It makes sense, right? So you gotta work your way into this. And the next question I get, how much should I be lifting, John? You know, what's a good start point for me? And I always tell them, listen, don't always focus in on reps, but you should focus in on it and have a goal. And usually I'll do three to four sets, okay? for 10 to 12 repetitions, right? So that means three sets or four sets if you want. Um, and you're doing, at this repetition, you're going up you know, at least 10 to 12. Now, how do you know the weight is um, not enough weight or it's too much weight? So if you're at your 10th rep, right? And it feels like you can't do it. You might want to decrease the weight by a couple pounds, just a couple. And at that point you can continue on and hit the 12. Now, if you do decrease the weight and you say, well, I can hit 12, I can hit it easy. You can increase your reps. That's not a problem because that's building stamina and endurance for yourself. And that's really a good thing. Now, if you're reaching 12 and it's nothing, right? You're like, you're just like I hit my 12. No, you want to increase the weight a little bit, not tremendously but a little bit and this is going to help your strength improve your endurance improve along with your stamina so you're going to be able to go longer and stronger okay so at that point make sure that you're exercising or getting plenty of activity through the week and you're spreading out those time periods you have those times look at your watch look at the watch on the, or the clock on the wall wherever you're working out or exercising at or activity wise and make sure you are giving yourself enough weight to lift, okay, whether it be free weights or you're on a machine or whatever you're doing. Another thing to do if you want to increase strength, progressive load. So each week you start adding, you know, a pound or two pounds more to that exercise you were doing before. This will increase your strength and you will start going up and up and up and up. Okay, now when you hit to a certain point, you don't want to go crazy. So if you're at 400 pounds and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go to 450. Listen, you don't want to cause damage. You don't want to hurt yourself because if you do, then you're gonna have to rest, relax, and you're gonna start losing all that work you put in. All right, so these are just a couple of the questions that I want to answer for you guys. It's some health tips and tricks straight from Titan Medical Center. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, you want to become a patient, you want more help in this area, Call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out www.tightmedicalcenter.com too as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll be back with another segment for you guys helping out with health tips and tricks from Tight Medical Center. Thanks guys. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I'm here with beautiful Zoe, and she's got one of our awesome pink Titan Medical Center camel outfits on. She looks awesome in it, so let's break down what's going on here on Zoe. So how are you doing today, Zoe? Good, I'm doing great. You're doing great. So she's in, in the studio showing us this awesome outfit and how it looks on you, very awesome. So this, we have the crisscross new sports bra. The matching sports bra Titan Medical Center goes with the leggings. These are very, very high quality. They're four-way stretch. They're gonna be very comfortable on you. So if you're walking around or you're in the gym, maybe possibly doing squats, they're not gonna ride down. They're not gonna ride up. And they're not gonna show the big white blast in back if they get stretched too much. I think some of you ladies have had that experience happen to you. So if you guys want to purchase these awesome outfits, like this one Zoe has on here with the leggings on top, all you have to do is go to TitanMedicalCenter.com, click on the clothing, and you can shop there for all our great items, and these especially. Or you can call or text us at 727-389-3220, and we can hook you up through the phone. 
So I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out Zoe and this awesome pink camel. Thank you, Zoe, for coming in and, and demonstrate and show everybody the way they can look in a tight medical center outfit. Hey guys, John here. And uh, usually I'm talking to you guys about our awesome therapies and what they can do for you and how they can help you. So that's just one aspect of Titan, right? So feel good on the inside, you know, you're feeling good on the outside. Now what do you do after that? So you gotta dress yourself properly. You wanna feel good in what you're wearing, the clothes you're wearing. So Titan Medical Center also produces all kinds of great clothing for guys and girls. So we wanna make sure you guys are all taken care of First class therapies, first class clothing, looking good, feeling good, performing better. That's what we're all about. So let's get into some of the different stuff that we got in. So we got all kinds of cool stuff. Now I'm only gonna highlight a couple things. We also got our brand new hats in, fitted, 3930. These are awesome, Team Titan on the side, Titan Medical Center. And we've got all different kinds of colors. So when we come in here, I even got Nike ones. So we've got Nike fitted, red, blue, white, all different types of colors for you guys. So if you guys like hats, you like to wear one once in a while, man, these are definitely it, all right? First class, all the way. Um, all right, what else we got? So we've got our new uh, jumpsuits in. Now, I've showed you guys some jumpsuits in the past. I've got some thinner ones. This one is like right in the middle. I've even got some thicker ones. So I've got all different types of these different jogging suits so you guys can throw it on after the gym or maybe a, you know a night you know breezy at night you guys can throw this on look good maybe for if you're doing a competition or you just want to look good going out of the gym or walking around outside that's all it is for girls i got these awesome new tank tops these just came in and the design is a little bit different these are next level really really good as far as the print on them, they look awesome. Team Titan down the back, they're excellent. I've got them in a variety of colors. I'm just gonna show you the black and the turquoise that we got in, and we've got more colors of these. So if you guys like these tank tops, you girls wanna look good, you want it to be, you know, feel flexible on you, fit just right, these are it, all right? What else have we got? We got back in our Titan Strong shirts. These are awesome. Everybody loves these Titan Strong shirts. So tight and strong on the back. Got our Titan Athletic logo on the side. And of course, there is no other alternative for Titan Medical Center, all right? We are tight and strong all the way. So if you guys want one of these, Titan Loyalty, you guys can get one of these Titan Strong shirts too as well. Some of this stuff might not be on the website yet. It will be soon, but you guys can always call or text 727-389-3220 and you guys can get yourself a jumpsuit, um, some of our new shirts, you know, we've got all different types of stuff. If you guys look in this closet, like literally like, and I'm sorry, it's a little little bit, you know, unrest in here, but you know, I haven't been in here. This is my first time in here in a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we got for summer, we've got you covered. For winter, we've got you covered. For fall, any of those times in between, spring, we got you covered. So if you guys like to look good and feel good in the gym, or you guys want to look good on the outside, even these baby dolls, these are awesome. Got these in black and white. These are really cute. The girls love these things. So that's just it. Guys, I got you covered on all different types of V-necks. I've got crew necks and all the colors that we do. So this is just a, our regular t-shirt we give out to our patients, which is high quality, very, very high quality. So if you guys wanna look good and feel good, then call us or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And of course, we've got all the leggings, shorts. So I mean, We've got all different colors, 14 different types of colorways on tight medical center leggings. We've got some that have pockets. It's really, really cool. So if you guys want to get a gift for your significant other, for yourself, you know, just call or text us. Go on the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys can order most of the stuff from there. If there's something you see in this video that's not on the website, like I said, just contact us. So I appreciate it, guys. I got more stuff coming, so stay tuned.
Hey guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with a Cupid's Corner at home edition. <laughs> so today, you know, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a real serious kind of Cupid's Corner, I guess. Uh, the name of this segment is going to be called Through Thick or Thin. All right. And this is pretty serious, I guess, you know, for a lot of couples out there, whether you're married, whether you're in a relationship as boy or girlfriend, living together, whatever the scenario is. If you guys are taking yourself serious as a couple through thick or thin should be your vows and not just marriage vows, but they are marriage vows. So if you're married, you should take it very serious. Now, the reason we're doing it through thick or thin, um, if you didn't know and we're at home right now is because Sharice has been battling some illness, bilateral pneumonia, sepsis, some serious, serious infections. So at that point, she's trying to, you know, just relax, get some bed rest and just chill but the other side of that is is through thick or thin now why do we name it like this the reason we did is because you know through thick means you know trouble times problem times and that might not be you guys fighting but that could be with your partner or loved one being sick mm -hmm. right or being down for the count in one way or another mm -hmm. right whether mentally it's physically mentally, phys emotionally right she, she's definitely you know she's she hit that right on the head and thin means that everything is good right everything is great now you know through thin is very simple and easy for a lot of couples because everything is happy-go-lucky everything's working pretty much you know to the best of its ability and you guys are just having a great time together through through thin should be your best time the honeymoon period now through the thick now this is the serious part you know when things start going sideways or things start going wrong and let's just use health for the scenario you know sharice has been sick so who is going to take care of her i've been sick not for like two days i've been sick for 23 days you know so, it's, so you know i it got to the point where you know um just as far as like shortness of breath i couldn't walk up and down the stairs by myself haven't been able to bathe by myself go to the bathroom by myself like these are things that i've had to have john help me with like and you know it, it, you're in a vulnerable state so you know <laughs> i'll even share this with you guys because it is kind of funny so, you know, obviously I've been, when I say sick, I mean sick, 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 sick. Like my legs are swollen, um, stomach swollen, you know, as far as like being able to do anything for myself, it's been very, very difficult for me to do anything for myself for two weeks. And I'm the kind of person I don't like to ask people for help. I don't want to ask people for help. And even if I need help, I still don't ask for help. I don't even like asking him for help because then I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want your help, you know? And so it just, it's. It's an alpha female thing, you know? But here's where like the love comes into play, okay? Like the true, true love. So <clears throat> I was in the ICU, um, cause I got really, really sick and I happened to have some awesome sepsis. This is, you know, very fun, fun, fun stuff to deal with here. Um, but regardless, you know, I was in the ICU, sick, whatever, whatever, whatever. So this is what yesterday I think it was. <clears throat> Today's the first day I can actually see some light at the end of the tunnel where you know, um, I'm starting to get some of the water weight off of me and stuff like that. But yesterday, like, I look in the mirror, right? Okay. <laughs> and I ask John, okay, I wanna know why, first of all, and he, and he has been telling me every single day, because he's the best husband ever, you know, how much he loves me and how, how you look so beautiful, even though my face is like, literally like, you know, I was retaining water like in my, clavicle area in my face my face was swelling my arms are still swollen my stomach is swollen i look like i'm nine months pregnant thank god i'm not i wish oh, you was i know he wishes i was but i'm not thank god <laughs> i don't want to be frightened <laughs> um but i look like it you know and obviously i'm a female so it's like you know it's kind of gets to you if you look bad you know but he's obviously said i love you you look great you know blah 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 blah, blah. so anyways long story short i look in the mirror and i'm like hmm so i just want to find out you know why there was no specific reason why john told like he didn't tell me that i had the mcdonald sign on my face you know because i haven't been able to pluck, like pluck my eyebrows <laughs> and nobody's plucked my eyebrows for me <laughs> so of course if you don't pluck your eyebrows what's gonna happen it's gonna grow right so I look in the mirror and I'm like, legit, I have a unibrow. I have a unibrow. 
and it's on my face and he literally hasn't said anything about it and i'm like you still love me with my unibrow and my mustache <laughs> Like, literally, guys, though, I look like an Amazon, you know, like, I look like a freaking Amazon, and he's, like, just probably staring at my unibrow no and just loving it, but <laughs> I have the McDonald's sign on my face, and he's just loving me for it, but I'm like, hello, at least tell me to pluck it or pluck it for me. What are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm sick, but, like, pluck my McDonald's sign. I don't want a unibrow. <laughs> I, th I think that's the biggest thing. So <laughs> that's well, true love, though. Yeah, that's I mean, true love, you know, and that, that's really you know when when you do love oh my somebody. Gosh, and it's not so because they might have they might not look the best, whatever it is, <laughs> but like you truly love that person, right? No matter what is going on with them, you know, and if they're sick or they're down, um, you know, they might not look their best, <laughs> and they're not going to. That's the point of this. Like you love that person for who they truly are, or who they've been with you, uh, you know. And at that point, like. You know, some of these things are so trivial and, and some people, that's when you really know that, you know, this person might not love you or might not be so serious about you if they're not really showing you that love no matter what. And of course, like I said, if you're dazzled up, you're looking your best 110% and everything is perfect, it's going to be a lot easier for a relationship or a lot easier for the couples to be together and be happy. But literally when some of these things start coming about, people start getting sick. You know, they might not start looking their best. They're going through problems. You might start to help them. You might have to sacrifice some of your time, right? You're taking away from your gym workouts or you going out with some friends. He or, hasn't been able to, look, guys, he, like, honestly, straight up, and I tell you guys this, and I'm always straight up with you guys, whether I'm on ABC, on Facebook, on Instagram, or if I see you in person, I'm the most real person there is. I, it doesn't get any realer than me. And I'm telling you, like, John's literally had to be by my side literally every single minute of every single second of every single day, which he normally is by my side like that anyway, regardless, but not for like fun reasons. You know, he's had to like not leave my side because I was having issues breathing and I couldn't walk and I couldn't do things for myself. Like, and he was scared for me. I was scared for me. You know, my mom's scared for me. You know, my family's scared for me. My friends are scared for me. He had to stay with me to make sure I was okay, you know, and then eventually, he forced me to go to the emergency room and i'm glad that i went to the emergency room or i wouldn't have found out that i had sepsis you know and be on my way to some sort of recovery who knows what would have happened you know but i was having issues a lot of issues you know and it, it comes down not even to just that you know as far as you know being you know intimate even you know i'm in pain and i'm have swelling in my back and in my legs and I can't breathe. So, you know, being intimate is probably not the first thing on my brain, but you know, it's like he's been the most understanding person there is, you know? And you have to remember that if you really, really love someone that you look past all that stuff and you say, hey, okay, this is like a temporary thing and we're gonna get through this and you're there for your partner and that's what he's done for me. I don't know what I would have done without him by my side like for the past three weeks, you know? Yeah, I don't know, I really don't. Like I'm a soldier, yeah, I can handle it, but like I don't know what I would have done because the last three weeks have not just been like, like physically tolling on me but like mentally and emotionally because i'm so used to doing things on my own like i don't want to ask for help and like i like to work and i haven't been able to work in like i literally haven't worked at all in th like three days you know i did work last week and the week before that like from home but like me not working it's like it gets to me like it gets to your head like you know especially someone like me that i'm like i'm, I'm an independent alpha female you know so like to have to rely on somebody or like you know me to break down to john you know because i don't cry not normally anyway you know for me to cry to john you know because i'm so upset about just because i don't feel good you know i'm like when am i gonna feel better like am i going to feel better like when you know it's been 20 days i mean when i broke down that time i think it was only like two weeks in and i'm like what's going on with my body am i why am i not feeling better all i want to do is just feel better you know and he's i feel bad for him because his hands are tied and all he could do is support me you know like hug me and give me a kiss and tell me that it's going to be okay you know but that's all he could do because he couldn't 
you can't make this go away. <laughs> and, you know, that's the important part is supporting your partner through the hard times, <clears throat> you know, and being there for them all the way through and being understanding and being patient and making sure that they're taken care of. That's how you know somebody truly loves you or you love that person. So at that point, you want to make sure you're there. And through thick or thin, it's going to increase your love for each other and the bond factor. That person's going to know, I can rely on that person. I know that person's going to have my back. If a situation goes south or goes sideways. So it's really important to understand this through thick or through thin. You should love your partner, be understanding, be supporting, and be there for your partner when they really need you in times like this. And you'll never know when that time might come for you to be in need of your partner helping you guys. Mm -hmm. So at that point, be reciprocating, be patient, help your partner, be there for them, and make sure you're helping them in the right way. Don't be selfish. Mm -hmm. So this was a pretty serious Cupid's Corner, but it was important for us to talk about this and to share this with mm -hmm. you guys. I think you guys will learn a lot from this, and you'll know, and you'll see those true colors come out if that partner is right for you or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys? So this has been another Cupid's Corner with me and Cherise. Sorry. Home edition. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys for all tuning in. Everybody that's reached out to us for support, thank you guys. Thank you guys. We love you guys. We appreciate it. And make sure you guys tune in next week to another Cupid's Corner. We'll be going over some more topics to help you guys increase your love, your relationship, and your bond with your partner. Yep. So thanks, guys. I'll be jumping around by then. I'll see you then.